Democrats are demanding a meeting with the U.S. Secretary of Homeland Security John Kelly to discuss President Trump's executive order barring entry to people from seven Middle East and African nations. Earlier today, Bloomberg Chief Washington Correspondent Kevin Cirilli spoke to Democratic Senator Jack Reed, who's a member of both the Senate Armed Services and Intelligence Committees, and asked him for his take on the president's executive orders. Kevin, take a listen. I think they've caused chaos, and uh, unfortunately, I think they've done more to undermine the national security of the United States than to uh, protect it. Uh, particularly concern that I have is the status of our military forces overseas. We have individuals right now engaged in uh, combat operations in Iraq alongside Iraqis, and this tension that has been imposed by the orders and banning Iraqis in particular and other uh, Muslims from coming to the United States uh, has to exacerbate. Uh, the difficulty they have to coordinate. In addition, uh, ISIS uh, has already taken advantage of this uh, for propaganda purposes, uh, trying to How problematize so? around the Muslim world. Well, they're, they're indicating that this is just another demonstration of how the United States is against Muslims everywhere, that they are, uh, are out to undermine uh, Islam when, in fact, we're not. We're trying to provide, in fact, uh, have been for years, security and safety to millions of Muslims who are under attack by radical jihadis. And the other point, I think, that's detrimental to our national security is that we rely in the United States upon uh, Americans of Muslim background background and uh, people who are legally here to provide information on uh, what they hear, what they might be picking up, and if there's a sense of alienation that there are second-class citizens, that could, uh, could stop. And so all of these factors suggest to me the policy is uh, not at all helpful, in fact, detrimental. The White House is saying that this is not a Muslim ban, that this is a way to increase security measures to prevent terrorists from coming into the country, and that they even at one point uh, compared it to actions that President Obama had taken. What's your response to that? Well, I think that's just trying to uh, paint a picture after they've discovered the outrage of the American public and trying to justify something that's hard to justify. Uh, you know, the, the random nature of these countries that are selected. Uh, the, Pakistan is not on the list, but that's where we know the headquarters, the leaders of Al Qaeda are located. Uh, you have the, I don't know, really rhyme or reason. And you know, to, to indicate there's, there's, this is not a Muslim ban, but all the countries is a predominantly Muslim is sort of, it's, um, it doesn't stand up. And uh, again, this is, speaking, I think, a very poor policy. Economically speaking, the reaction coming from Silicon Valley has been fast and furious, to say the least. Uh, leaders at top organizations from Facebook, Google, uh, Tesla uh, have, have criticized this. And you're on the Senate Banking Committee, Senator. How does this policy impact economics and trade policy with the U.S. and, and the international community? Well, it disrupts the, the movement of highly qualified uh, financiers, to technical experts, academics who are part of the, uh, the, the overall economy that helped the United States. Uh, it, you know, conferences that you might want to host in the United States that will benefit us with business, now they're under a cloud because can you invite people who may be citizens of Iraq or, the, or, or these other countries? In fact, they might be living elsewhere. Where they might be residing in Great Britain, but they're citizens of Iraq. All of this, we have had, uh, as you know, people who are here legally uh, teaching in our universities who are stopped at airports. It creates a, a pall over the research efforts of universities of, of Silicon Valley. It just is counterproductive. It's, it's, it, and the security issue is, is, a, is a hobby horse. It's just something that they, they, have, they have no credible evidence saying that this will have a direct effect. Uh, it is just, uh, I think, an, an impulsive and wrongly wrong-headed approach to try to deal with national security. That was Democratic Senator Jack Reed speaking earlier today with Bloomberg Chief Washington Correspondent Kevin Cirilli, who is with us now from Capitol Hill.